Hey. Hey! I need your help with something. Yes? I found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Huh? <laughs> Housekeeping service? Housekeeping service? Dude, what the hell, man? Wait. This is it. It's more? The book is magical, I'm telling you! I read the book and now just more things about women are coming my way! First I spent the day with An, and now, well, I guess we were kind of stood up, but still women were about to come my way, and now this flyer just randomly shows up about a cute maid service? What the fuck? A maid, dude! A maid who will do anything for us! Uh, Ryuji, I don't think that the maid's gonna do quote-unquote anything. Right? Right? For real? Uh, what do you want me to do? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean! Not really, can you be a little bit more specific here? Yeah, give it a- let's give it a try, yeah? Yeah! Oh god, you want- wait! Then what do you mean? Oh god, you're using me! You're using me, you asshole! You're making me call up the maids because you're too chicken shit to do it yourself! Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. Oh my god, you can't be serious! You're gonna hire a maid to come to a vacant area just to see if she'll give you some special service? Ryuji, what the hell?! He is behind the mailbox, so we can get it any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care! The place is all set, so... Hey! Hey, what? No. Mishima, Mishima! Oh, god damn it! What the hell? Um... Um, can I, uh... Get in on this? What the hell, guys?! Ho oh, ho! You mean you're into this kind of stuff? Well, okay. What are you making that judgmental okay sound for, Ryuji? You're the one who brought this shit up in the first place! All excited like, like, hey, I need your help on this so we can call up a goddamn maid! No, no. I'm not into it. It's just for research. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. Mishima, dude. Just, just outright and say it. You want a maid to come and service you, don't you? Uh... Well, I guess we have to, then! Right? And if it's a scam, then we need to punish them. <laughs> yeah, we gotta see with our own eyes. Every little detail. <laughs> oh god, I'm starting to wonder if this book that I read was actually a damn curse. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Oh. So, what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. All right. Since we'll be watching them, it should be something like Operation Maid Watch. Nice! I like that! Uh, can I get a word in, please? Oh god, what's happening? What's happening?! Mm. Of course, waiting is pretty boring. I wonder what Ryuji and the rest are up to. Boy, oh boy, can I tell you some shit! Oh man, I'm popular tonight. Hello, hello! Hey, you didn't forget, did you? Oh god, that's right! Operation Main Hunt! Uh, you know, about the flyer. Oh god, we need to look into the truth behind the housekeeping service. I'm over at Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Oh boy, oh, let's just do it! Don't flake out on me here, whatever, I'll, 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 I'll do, on to a grand adventure I go! Me and my best friend Mishima, Hi. hiring some random ass maids! Do you remember that group of- We've already talked about that! <laughs> so, we're up executing Operation Maid Watch tonight, for sure, right? 
Hell yeah! All right. Sweet. I've been waiting for this. Wait, you already changed out of your uniform? I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine before so I can uh, beforehand so I can change too. Probably a good idea. Probably a very smart idea. So we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Yeah. Well, if it turns out to be sketchy, we we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Uh, I'm still worried that... That's smart for you! You know what? Fine, whatever. You're a genius, Ryuji! Oh wow, that actually helped. Okay, pandering! Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm the smartest one here. You sure are, Ryuji! To think, Sakamoto has a brain. <laughs> Damn, Mishima, seriously? But if that's the case, then... Then... Then what? Yep. What are you doing? What are you plotting? Uh... Yeah. Okay, give him the call! What? Do it yourself! I've done enough already. This was your grand idea! If not you, then Mishima. Huh? Me? I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Seriously, please, Jirai. No. Oh, you just had me come over so I could make the call, didn't you? Well, just you wait. I'm gonna be the one that the maid favors, you damn bitches! Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. And apparently a man is answering it. They answered! Hey. Shh! I take it that you're interested in our services, then. Services? Is there anyone in particular that you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What should we do, Kakuto? Um, no preference. An anyone's fine. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Oh my god. Shit. This is really happening. What the fuck do you expect, Ryuji? A maid services. Mishima, get your mind out of the gutter. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we should start with some cooking. This is a vacant place! There's no food here! Of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Oh my god! Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? This is a maid service! Not a god... You know what? Whatever, you guys just keep thinking exactly what it is you want to keep thinking. It'll just be more hilarious when you realize how bad it is. They said 20 minutes, right? I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, it's a- What? It's almost time! You were in there for a while! Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Ryuji? Huh? What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> Uh, are high school students even allowed to use this? You think about this now? Huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. Mishima, I thought you were the one who was researching it. What if they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? Well, why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? This is true! He's got a good point! We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID! Good evening, I'm from the housekeeping service! <laughs> the look on Ryuji's face! <laughs> He's like, oh shit! Huh? What? Already? She's five minutes early! Well, I guess that means she gets a bigger tip then?
What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. You guys had 24 hours to prepare for this shit. Oh, the door's unlocked. Uh, may I come in? I can't do this. This was your idea! My stomach's acting up and my hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest. And don't let her find out that you're a high school student. Oh. I've got your back. Just from way back. Like from the balcony. What? 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 I can't do this. What? I can't do this either. Jirai, we'll leave it to you. My friends, Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony, leaving you all alone with the maid. Well, guess what? I'm gonna use that book that I got to lay on the charm, and maybe the maid will like me. But then again, it's not like she can like anyone else more because they're all hiding like a bunch of cowards. This is gonna end horribly, isn't it? Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. Oh my goodness. I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. Meow! I'm Becky, and I had the pleasure of serving you today. Uh, hello, can I... Nice to meow to you, too. Uh, hello? Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry... But there are other services we provide if you desire! Oh my! Like what? Hmm. You look young, mister. Oh no. Are you perhaps... In high school? Oh no, no, no. I'm dead! I'm dead! Wow, your skin's so healthy. Yup! That's the, that's the benefits of raising a bunch of children. See, I got 12 of them. I got 12 children, and they're all great. In fact, they're all in college right now. I'm just very youthful for my age. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? <laughs> You're not lying to me, are you? Of course not! Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, so about my children. Hmm. I'll have to wait to, uh, I'll wait to provide these other services until you've matured a bit, Master. Oh, God! Shot through the heart, and you're too blame! So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! Quiet! Is someone there? Oh no! Shit! Run, Mishima! Mishima? What? Sakamoto? Ryuji's name was not so. Oh, no, she knows us! She knows us! Oh no! And. Did you request me specifically? Oh fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked so many ways right now. Uh, wait, are you? Oh no, it's all right. How would you know me? Uh, hi, Miss Kawakami. Uh, boy, you're looking awfully, um, bouncy in that attire. <laughs> this is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. I can't believe we got the goddamn look of our goddamn teacher showing up. I blame you for this book of charm increasement. I don't know what I'm saying. Increasement? 
Is that even a word? I'm making up words. I'm creating words because of all this bullshit. I should have taken a job outside the city. But I needed it to be close to the school so I could go after there uh, go there after I finished work. Hey. Who did you hear about this from? Oh, uh, Ryuji! It's all Ryuji's fault! In fact, he dragged me into this. In fact, I had nothing to do with this. He forced me to make the phone call! <laughs> Please don't kick me out of class. Oh, it was Miss Chuno, wasn't it? That harpy. Oh my. Miss Chuno, the English teacher? She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamashita. Are you going to tell Miss Chuno about this? Hell no! What do you mean? Huh. It doesn't seem like you're playing dumb. In any case, I'll be in big trouble if you tell on me. I'm not gonna tell anyone! But, that aside, you look great. Hey, if you're going to side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chuno about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything? Uh, what to do? It wow! I'm an asshole regardless which one I do! I might as well just choose this one. It seems like the lesser of the two evils. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. You have a point. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. I can just imagine Ryuji in the background I'm like, Yeah, it was all me! Oh wait, no, he's gone. He's not hearing a damn thing. That's right, they're bugging- Wait, weren't they on the balcony? They were on the balcony. They ran away on the back. They jumped off! Oh my god, they fucking bailed! <laughs> that image is actually hilarious. If they were on the goddamn balcony and they ran away, unless there were stairs around, they fucking bailed the fuck out! <laughs> oh man, it's the things you don't see sometimes that are the most hilarious. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had canceled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? But I feel bad. At least let me give you something. On that note, I'll be leaving. Wait, aren't I broke? Actually, this is a good thing, because I think I'm fucking broke! Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye! Okay, bye! I suddenly feel exhausted. <sighs> I want to go home. What has this book done to me? Ever since I started reading it, some weird shit's been happening with all the ladies in my life. Hey, uh, hey what are you going to do about that Kawakami maid thing? Your guess is as good as mine. It sounded like she was in trouble. Why don't you go ask her about what's going on? She should be at school anyways, right? No! I gotta go talk to my teacher about this again! Oh no. Let's see, the, I think she's probably in the faculty office, so it's over here. And, oh, yep, there they are! Miss Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami's been driven into a corner by Chuno. Let's talk about- uh, let's talk to her so we can help her out. <sighs> As I've been saying... Uh, get home safely, Jiraikun. Uh, well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I had to excuse myself. No, we are not finished talking yet. Uh, but so... I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave work earlier than anyone and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me that you're running around at night. What business is it of yours? She has the right to do whatever she wants to at night. As long as she actually comes to work and does her job. Screw you, Miss Chuno. Mm. Kamakami's being grilled by Chuno. 
She said that she'd do anything if we helped her out. So let's clear up Chuno's suspicions. The school's closing soon, Mr. Jirai. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawakami? Uh, yeah, I've got a question for her. Uh, what? What? Uh-huh. Oh, you have a another question. Another question? Th that's right. Jirai Kun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours? Huh. What passion! You are the ideal teacher! What? A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at the school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicions, so... Thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school. But we're gonna talk about it at school anyway. This is the address and phone number of my night job. I received... Oh my god! I got my hot teacher's phone number! I didn't even get this goddamn far in Persona 3! Best I can do is talk to her in an online game! Oh, Miss Toriyumi, I miss you. But hey! I got Miss Kawakami and she seems fine! Call at night and request me. Just be careful that, the, that it doesn't show up in your call history though, okay? I mean, she looks great in a maid outfit. I'd probably lose the pigtails and have her normal hair like that. But, you know, that's just me. Hey! Nice going, man! I guess somehow I got a girl's number. It was my teacher somehow. So, great job, book. No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call her over to your room the next time you're free at night. You're actually encouraging this more and more, Morgana! Well... Okay, I have to go. Oh my god! What is... What even is? What even is? I got a not but about... Hi, this is Becky! Oh wait, it's you. Oh... Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the request fee included. You know, is that okay with you? Yeah, of course. Jeez, 50 bucks. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have enough money to keep calling her. I'll head over right away then. Oh boy, this will be interesting. You're my teacher, why are you charging me 50 bucks? Oh wait, I guess this is your job. Oh, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? It sucks! Just like you. Ah. Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? Uh, I'm one of a kind. The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? What can I say? I'm fucked up, apparently! Uh, I don't have any friends! <laughs> I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Both options were terrible. I'm just lonely and I don't have any friends. <coughs> oh, God. My throat's hurting. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted a friend. Will you be my friend? Okay, then how about this? Oh god, the way you talk. Ah, stop it! You're making me. Come, come! Please! Please, you're making me feel things! Stop! I'll let you skip class a few times. Oh! Okay, that, that's, that's cool. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? Well, I suppose, yeah. However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. <laughs> well, um, time to raise up my knowledge! In an exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. I wasn't gonna do so to begin with. Sound good? Uh, I, got, I think we got a deal. Uh, I, I promise. 
and it's a deal. Yeah! So, uh, does this mean I can keep calling you over? Maybe? I made a deal with Kamikami! Oh boy, this is gonna be fucking interesting! <laughs> I mean... That we, I mean, we did this to make a deal, really, but if this is actually the start of a social link, which it, apparently it is, that means I get to keep calling her over. This is gonna be fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh, here we go again. All right, I admit it. I DID STEAL THE COOKIES FROM THE COOKIE JAR! What you gonna do about that shit?! To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. You're damn right! I mean... I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. Uh-oh. You leave Kawakami out of this! What do you have to say to that? I was just a lonely and horny teenager that just happened to like maids. Leave me alone! Stop judging me, Sai! <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Congratulations! You formed a social link with the bouncy teacher allows you to slack off during class. Woo! Alright. Uh, what am I doing here with one of my students? Uh... uh housekeeping? Well... Yes, I should get going. But you didn't do any work while you were here! Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? I just paid 50 bucks just to make a deal with you. Uh... Why? Well, I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh... Yeah? I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. Oh, over the hill? Over the hill? Aren't you like in your 20s? How could you be over the hill for this? I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Oh, okay. Oh, so she... Okay. You know what? Sure. I'll throw 50 bucks your way every now and then if I ever make enough. Just think about it, okay? Alright. Thank you for using our service. I swear to God, I did not have sex with that maid! Uh, I mean, continue. <laughs> oh. Yes, Kawakami! Hot teacher! Hi! <laughs> Thank you for your call. I'm all your. Oh, it's just you. Oh, Do you really think that little of me? You know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't make any detours, okay? It'll cost you 5,000 yen to request me, but this time I'll be sure to do an extra good job. Oh, really? Go on. I can afford it! I can finally afford it! Hot teacher in a maid outfit! Let's go! What? What? You're really going to- Of course I am! I'll be heading over right now then. Why wouldn't I? It'd be helpful if you could clean up a little bit before I get there so it's easier for me. Isn't that gonna defeat the purpose of having a maid but at the same time... Fine, I'll be the suave gentleman that I am, and make sure that even though I paid you, you don't have to do any of the work. That's just the kind of guy that Kagato, the final boss, begins. I love cleaning shabby- I mean sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment! 
I had no- Come, 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 I had no choice! It's literally an attic! If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. That's... Hot? Question mark? But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? I'm not sure, question mark? Uh, I'll tell your boss! I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost want to respond to that. Like, oh, I feel nothing. Your, your suffering does nothing. Your joy does nothing. I don't care. Ah, eh, fine, it does. <laughs> oh, master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. Yeah, stop rubbing it in, Kawakami, and I just realized I forgot a persona to bring. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keep it a little messy for the shabby the sheep feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Uh, thank you. Well then, if we're just gonna be going to that next step, then don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, you okay, Kawakami? Teach? You dead? I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feel a lot of I feed a lot of strays around my house. Oh, God! Morgana! Clean yourself a little bit better so my room doesn't smell like cats! I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You're, you're serious, right? HAVE YOU SEEN YOURSELF?! I mean, okay, granted, your hairstyle is a little bit... ...strange, but... HAVE YOU SEEN YOURSELF?! You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were- NONSENSE! <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 absolutely not! As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't give any f <laughs> No! No, funny ideas? Funny thoughts? What are those? I'm, a, I'm, I'm as clean and as pure as the fallen snow! <laughs> Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... I need a nap. Okay! Sorry, just give me five minutes. M maybe ten. Um... And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much! Th this is what I paid 50 bucks for. Oh, hey, do you know any of the part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Um, uh, so there's this place called Mementos, and, uh, what I do is I go fight a really big and powerful creature, and I make him so confused that he just throws endless money at me. Good, good, good luck with that. You, you need money? Well, uh... You know... It's for my little sister. Oh, no. She's sick, so I need money to pay for her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough! But it was the same amount as last week, I... No. Yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. 
Uh... Are you sure this is about a little sister? Uh, wrong number! Do you even have a little sister? Kawakami, what have you gotten yourself into? Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Actually, I have very close to that. Uh, never mind. I can help, okay? I think one of my students' money would be the worst. Uh -huh. I can make more! I'll just make more monsters confused until they throw money at me! I you don't owe me shit, I'll just give it to you! Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting on services like this. This is all for you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. It doesn't have to go further! I don't care about that right now! You need money, don't you? I have it! I will give it to you! I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me, and I doubt she has a little sister. Or at least one that's in... trouble. It sounds like she herself is in trouble. All right. <sighs> Three more to go. Oh, shit! Three more jobs? Or clients? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. boy. Let's see. Calories for you, mister! Any good... Calories? So, does that mean you're gonna make me something? I'll provide you with some calories, master. It's Becky, the delivery maid. The maid's cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale with the request fee. It's only 5,000 yen, so basically the same as before. All right, let's do it. Let, let, yeah, 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 let's do it, come on. What? Seriously? Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, then please wait for me with an empty stomach, Master. Oh. Master! Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? Those... are instant noodle bowls, aren't they? All you did was pour water in and throw it in the microwave! The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do some... <laughs> do some real cooking! What? I can cast a magical spell that makes it extra delicious. Or would you prefer the homemade cooking next time? Yes, yes I would. Although that would be an additional cost, I'd make the best egg rice with soy sauce. Oh god, Kawakami, I'm so sorry. Don't request me if you're gonna complain. Oh! I'm requesting you because I like you and you're my friend, possibly even more, I don't know yet. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? Uh, <laughs> I was curious, so I could slide off my head. Honestly, it's because I just wanted to see you. Hmm, are you really sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain, since I'm making money from it. Wow. Like a dagger in the heart. <sighs> I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they'd talk more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teacher's salaries. I'm so sick of it. Why would they do that? Then I'll request you more often. Really? Yes. 
I'll continue to serve you with all my might ma- Just drop the master line, please. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Hello? What? What? How much? I can't... Yes, but... That... That's true. Sure. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility, after all. Oh, did you hear that? Yes, of course I did! You just walked five feet away! <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Mm-hmm. Don't overdo it. Y you don't have a sister, do you? Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. If it's incurable, then why are you paying these kinds of medical bills? You don't have a sister! I'm calling it now! That's why it would really help if you requested me more. What have you gotten yourself into, Kawakami? Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. What am I going to do? Anyway, it's time for me to go! What have you gotten yourself into?! Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. That is really sweet of you. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Damn, she was willing to... Huh. Allows you to request Kawakami to make coffee or do laundry for you. All right. Huh. That'll be an enormous help. You can now hire Kawakami to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. So instead of having to spend an entire night making coffee or doing the laundry that I find from the from the dungeon, she just does it for me while I go and do something else? That's great! This isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. Oh! What have you gotten into? I want to save you from it. It's Friday. Let me see. Come and call me. Are you available on Fridays? Oh. Hi. Yes, you are. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. Yes. 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 Yes, I will. Hey. Yes. Come on over. Thank you so much! She said she loves me! Even though I know it's just part of her job, but she said she loves me! Okay, I'll come over there right away! She said she loves me! Yay! Hey! So, Master. <laughs> okay, seriously, you, you, you can stop calling me that. It's okay. You Seriously, you're okay? I want to provide more sir What are you scheming? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm definitely not scheming anything, Meow. What are you scheming? I just want to get requested more. I'd request you more, but you're never available! It I'm really... Oh, God, that face. That's not right! Kawakami, please. Kawakami, stop. Stop. Kawakami. Stop! I'm really good at giving massages, meow. Oh, God, I'll massage you anywhere. What?! Well, how was that? The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said th uh, that he prioritizes younger women. What the? 
Why are they treating you like some old maid? You are in your 20s. How rude. <laughs> no surprise. How old are you? That's seriously what I want to know. You can't, Seriously, you cannot have a three anywhere in your age unless it's 23. Either that or, jeez, you'd look good for your age. How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age if I say so myself. I say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for... Wait. Don't tell me I'm only the one... Uh, I'm the only one who thinks this way. Oh. Oh dear. Master! Would you please give me your honest opinion? STOP LOOKING AT ME THAT WAY! I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Yes, you do. But you seriously need to love yourself, Kawakami. Huh? Yeah, that's right! Your student is lecturing you! Listen to him! I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. Oh my. But you're right. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life has both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. Huh. Seriously, what have you gotten yourself into? All right. Uh, so... Aha. Uh -huh. I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. Okay! So what's going on? I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was all a lie, too. So then, what's going on? Uh, t technically, I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. Thank you for using our service. Mm. Uh, okay, something real bad's going down. Something real bad's going down, and I am going to save her because she needs it. She needs it bad. We've got people. That's right. Go on, go on. It's Becky. J just kidding. I told you this already, but I've been deceiving you. Sorry again. So stop spending your money on me. Got it? Really? Tell us to do something and we're going to do the complete opposite. <laughs> ah! I gotta go sell stuff. I gotta go sell stuff. I have money now. Jeez. Are you serious? I told you that the that story about the sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money, and you still request me. It, it's fun. Who who's the master here? <laughs> Well, I am thankful that you're requesting me, but... You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So... 
the money is actually yes tell me and i will help you an apology question mark there was a student named Takase at the school that I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child, since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather, pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he can cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takasi Sukun. That's terrible! Yeah. That's terrible! But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and having rumors spread about me. So I canceled our upcoming tutor sessions. Takasi kun was on his way to one of his part time jobs when I told him. Why'd the music stop? Why'd the music stop? Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve and it had been pouring rain all day. No! He died in a car crash. God damn it. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I'd kept my promise to him. It's not your fault! takase -kun was exhausted from his tutoring sessions and working at all of his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and the Board of Education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the schools would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. You okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangements, so... See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate. But we should say goodbye as well. I want to see you again. Tricoon? You're really not the type to back down, are you? Nope! I am completely stubborn as a mule! Haha, <laughs> that's what you're stuck with! <laughs> guess we're in this together. Now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them, too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Wow. That's just bad. 
Oh god, if I find out that this has... Oh wow, if those people are actually taking advantage of Kawakami rather than her just paying back... A, a certain... I, I'll... Oh, oh, oh... Oh, the, the bad things that will happen if I find out that they're just using this as a way to take advantage of Kawakami. Because that's not only taking advantage of her, but also their son. Well, his real parents, yeah, but guardians, sure, but still. He was essentially their son. If that's what happens, hell hath no fury from the final boss upon them. But let's see, gain free access, free time with other teachers' classes with Kawakami South. Okay, right. that, that's good. That's cool. I'll be useful. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm gonna put more energy into it today than usual. <coughs> Kawakami, just sit down. I'll clean. Oh my, this room is so dusty. Even though I want the place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, master. I'll work hard to keep my keep. To earn the keep, rather. Uh. Kawakami, are you working yourself to death? Hmm. Oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. My cough is already this bad. Oh my god, you're working yourself to death. Maybe we better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, that's just, I mean, chicness of the room is truly his charm, so let's keep it as is. All right, I have to go. Thank you so much. Moving on! Moving on! Moving the fuck on! I understand why you guys feel nervous now. Moving on! Moving on! Moving on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Are you thinking of calling, calling? Sure! Yeah! Let's call her. We got the monies. We got the monies. Hi, this is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. Oh. Kawakami, it's your favorite! I, I am your favorite. Right? Right? It's summer, but don't lose focus. You're still in high school, so don't go out playing at night. Wait, is this concern playing at night? Or worse? Well, it's under my supervision, so it's fine. <laughs> Today, I have a special item on the menu just for Master. Would you like that for 5,000 yen? Yes, please! Hey! Yes, please! I would like some, thank you! Thank you so much! Thanks for always requesting me! Well then, please wait for me till I get there. <coughs> uh, oh god. Oh, come on, come on. God damn it, Jerry Scream! Play Okami, it's amazing! Ah! Buddy, thank you, but seriously! Stop, put your wallet away! Stop it! And Kawakami is working herself to death, and it is really hurting my heart. Listen. Hey, you know how you listened to my story the other day? Uh, at this point, I think it might have been a month ago. <laughs> oh my god, watch something selfie must be watching Kano's Friday the 13th stream. Oh my god! <laughs> Ah, uh, nerds comic, why? Hey, listen to my secret. Okay. I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so... I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today. To say thanks. You mean you haven't been doing it before? Kawakami, don't. Don't. Sorry, I need to take a break. Do it! Sit the fuck down and relax! My lap is open. But seriously. Uh, wanna rest a bit? 
I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being. Oh, of course I fucking do! I mean, seriously, you take it for I'm at my limit. So exhausted. Sleep! Oh, oh my god. Kawakami, get over here. <sighs> Kawakami, sit the fuck down. I can't stop coughing. You are working yourself to death! Sit down! Calm down! Heal thine self! Kawakami, please. You should go home. Thanks, but I can't. I will give you the 5,000 yen. Just go home. Oh my god. I have to work. God damn it. <laughs> just kidding. I just want to slack off a bit. I know you're lying. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you, so the truth comes out, you know. You're lying to me, Kawakami. Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? It could be as dusty as it needs to be as long as you're okay. Oh my god, Spyro Blaze Donation Apocalypse, no! Thank you so much, but no! Have you been eating well? You need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Oh my god, Kawakami's starting to sound like a wife. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. Aha! The truth comes out! <sighs> I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. How much sleep are you getting? Takase-kun's guardians said they'd need... I am going to find them. And I'm going to kill them. I had my boss give me more shifts. I had to beg him for them that... Well, at least your boss was willing to work with you and give you more shifts so you can make more money, but... Teacher, heal thyself! Seriously, are you okay? Oh, it's fine. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm worrying. Besides, I'm, uh... I feel more at ease now that I have someone who knows about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. I feel Kawakami's trust to be strengthening. <clears throat> oh, Kawakami. All right. Oh, Kawakami. Uh-oh, time's up! Go to bed! Oh my god. I have to get to my next job. So I'm going to head out. Oh my god! Kawakami! I want to protect you too! I'll see you later then. Thank you for using our service. This is Becky! This is Becky! This is Becky! Hi, Becky! This is Becky! <laughs> this is Becky. I want to see you, Master. So please request me. Yeah, damn right I'm requesting you. Let's go make the call. Uh, yay. Hi! I'm Becky, Gorilla Maid of the Maid World. I know that's the real kind of, uh, or, uh yeah. <laughs> the Gorilla Maid. I'm not even- no, I'm gonna, I gotta stop right there. The type of work we do depends on how- oh, it's you. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. Gunbull! Come on over. Red Rover, Red Rover. Just come on over. Then I'll head over. Okay, I'll get dropped off at the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. I suppose I will. We're just spending time. Okay. Is it my imagine or does she not look well? Oh dear. Oh, that's right. I might have something called coming my life. 
Japanese. I think she likes sweets like An does. She likes expensive things and she likes sweets. Let's give it a shot. A present for me? Thanks. Thank you. It's nice of you to add a little bit of fun in my life. Oh, Kawakami, come here, I wanna hug you. I feel I touch Kawakami's heart a little. I feel like my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger. I'll I see you later then. You need to stop killing yourself. You are, you are working yourself to death. Stop. Who's available tonight? <sighs> oh. Sorry, I want to hang out with you, but I'm, uh, oh. I'm tired. How are you? It's Becky, sending you her positive energy, master. My grammar is perfect, but my health is not. Oh dear. That is my situation. Would you like to support Becky by paying 5,000 yen? Yes! Request! Please, come right away. I waited a while after responding, but she hasn't replied. I wonder why. She was the one who invited me. She might be working as a maid. Let's call her from LeBlanc later. In the end, Kawakami never responded to you. Why don't you try calling her directly? This is the head nurse! Oh, hell no! No, 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 no. This is the head nurse at Ayoma, I, I, Aoyama Has... I'm a nurse at a hospital, speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san! Kawakami-san fainted and is currently hospitalized at our facility? Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is yes, I'm coming over right the fuck now! This isn't good, let's head over there right away! Oh my god. Kawakami! Jeez. I'm just a little overworked, don't need to make a big deal about it. <laughs> of course I'm gonna make a big deal out of it! Why wouldn't I? But thanks for coming all the way to see me. Ugh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. I just earned a million fucking yen. Would you like some? I'd be glad to give you all. I can make more. How am I gonna make today's payment? There you are. Oh, no. <laughs> please. Oh, please. Let it be the man that's just leeching off you. I want to wring his fucking neck. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. Oh, please. Let this be the one. What? To cut. Yep. That's him. Hold me back. I've got to fucking kill a bitch. You contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. That's because she fucking fainted, you fucking asshole! Overworking herself to pay you! And when I thought you finally answered, it was the nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a- Oh, God! Oh, okay! All right, this dude is on my shit list, permanently. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. Well, at least she's got somewhat of a brain. But our credit card payment is coming up So we'll need money. We'll need you to transfer the money. I'm gonna pop their heads off like fucking corks. I'm sorry. These are the Takasi. These are Takasi Kun's guardians. The ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Oh, and I'm about to take care of them if you don't fucking mind! Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? And after all you did to him. 
Mm. I'm sorry. Ugh. So, what are you going to transfer the money? Ugh. I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Ugh. Don't pay them. Jiraiku. Mm. Stay out of this. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stay so far into this, you will not get rid of me. Don't act so tough, kid. You fat middle-aged fuck! I can take you on and drag your carcass all around the fucking block! Let's go, you piece of shit! A precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. I'm gonna set fire to you. And yet, she still doesn't know her place. <laughs> the more you talk, the more I want to kill you. <laughs> oh, I have no remorse. My remorse is gone. My remorse is any remorse I can have. Oh, God. Bye, remorse. Bye. Have a good time. See you next year. Bye. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and... Uh, in a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. No, you fucking won't. So... It's not like we're trying to... YES, YOU FUCKING ARE! But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? Oh, I don't know, somebody that puts value in education so maybe he can get a better job, make more money, and make you fucking bitches happier. Not like you to fucking deserve it. The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Ah! Poor Taiki, it's almost like you ah! So, you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. I'm grinding my teeth. I'm legitimately grinding my teeth right now. Oh my fucking god! Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. Oh my <sighs> fucking god! Ooh. Please tell me I can go into mementos and rip them apart. Please tell me I can go into mementos and rip them to fucking shreds. Mm. I have to figure out a way to make more money. No, you no, 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 no. You stop overworking yourself and you stop paying them shit. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Okay. Sister company, can you make a lot there? Think, think this through more. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my students. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? Because I fucking care about you! I'm not- YES YOU ARE! <laughs> Don't give me that shit! You know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. If the money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. I'm telling you not to pay it! You're breaking my heart, Kawakami! I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to takase -kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. No! That's the wrong choice! Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me real happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, she, she can depend on me after I just destroy those two. <clears throat> Superior housekeeping allows you to also request Kawakami to make curry or infiltration tools for you. 
I feel like doing things like that. Yes, it's a game, okay? Yes, she's not a real person. No, she's not truly suffering from fatigue. She's a 3D model in a game that's made of code. But if she was a real person, I couldn't bear to make her work even more. She's already working so damn hard for this. And now I'm like, hey, do you want to come on over and just make some curry? Or how about some infiltration tools? Don't ask questions. Just just do that work for me. I couldn't bear to do that. I, I All right. I, I couldn't. And she's fucking coughing. Of course. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I don't care. I'll stay here all fucking night if I have to. But the game won't I'll let me. Or rather, then. Morgana's like, aren't you too tired to visit your sick friend? Somebody that you care about so much? Nah, go on home. Get some sleep. Fuck you, cat. Sorry, I'm really... This This got me really riled up. I am so angry right now. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Not since Matarame have I felt this much rage towards somebody. Oh, fuck. Wait, yes, Kawakami. Sorry, I'm really concerned about Kawakami right now. Is your room messy? Are you hungry? Leave it to Becky. Or, wait, did you need to request me? There's something I want to talk to you about. Hey, yeah. Uh-huh. Talk. Yes. Talking is good. Talking very good. Thank you very much. Wait for me, master. Ah. Kawakami. Come to me. Come to me. Let me hug you and not let go ever. I actually really like the antique feel of this room. What's going on, Kawakami? You're worrying me. But I have to say goodbye to it today. <gasps> okay, on one hand, that's kind of sad because that means you're not coming back. But on the other hand, does that mean you're not doing this anymore and that you're not paying them anymore? Is that, is that what's going on? I mean, I can still see it in class. Um... The thing is, I've decided to quit. Yahoo! My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Oh, so you're still paying them. You're just leaving to make more money. <sighs> Takasa-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands. So they're just asking for more and more and more. They're just gonna take and take until you fucking die, Kawakami. So this is just what I have to do. No, it's not. Is that what you really want? What I want? Takasa-kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takasa-kun is by paying them. Oh! If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? Honor his life. Respect his death. Carry it with you always and live a life worth living. That's what you should do. Not paying those leeches that are only using his death as a means to get a paycheck. They don't give a shit about him. They don't give a shit about you either. They just want more money. A free ride. I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right to stop at. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my what? <laughs> yeah. This is the right answer, but I don't want it to be. what I decided. But did I really decide it on my own? Now I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. 
If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet I still feel the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Take a look at yourself. Jirai Kun. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with takasa -kun like this. You're figuring it out! Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends for takasa -kun. From here on, I refuse to- she is not doing it anymore! Woohoo! And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? I think that's the right choice! That's the right choice! You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I feel Kawakami's trust in me strengthening, and I still want to kill them, but I feel better now. Woo! All right. <laughs> I've been so worried about making money that I haven't even been paying attention to my students. Especially to you. I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Takasakun was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you too. That kind of line only works for someone old enough to handle his own household chores. Ow! I just got burned. Ow! Wait a minute, I cleaned up this place just fine. Uh, so what if there's a little dust floating about? I tried. But thanks. I'll speak with the Takases, and make sure you give them a big old fuck you from me. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. All right, it's time for me to go. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you later. Good night. That makes me so happy! Woo! <laughs> Yay, she's not going to pay them anymore, thank God! Jirai-kun, uh, Jirai please come to the student guidance office. I repeat, Jirai-kun, please come to the student guidance office. Hey! It's only the first day of school and Kawakami's already calling me out! <laughs> Hello, darling. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase Kun's guardians. Oh, shit! We're following up on that now? I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. Yes! You told them! Ha <laughs> I'm quitting my part time job, too. Oh, that means I don't get to see you in a minute. You know what? That's fine. You know what? I kind of like you like this. Although I'm still in the talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher, no matter what others say. I won't waver. So, thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Miss Kawakami, you have a guest that could- <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. What? They're here? At school? Hey, don't worry. I'm here. Well, I've already been expelled from school once before. I'm ready to do it again. 
How long are you gonna make us wait? Him again? You know it, lady! <laughs> How rude! I guess a student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. Uh, speak for yourself. You came here wanting to stir up trouble with my teacher while I'm here! You're obviously dumb as a box of bricks, lady! You thought you could just call and say that you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know... It's what I decided, for Takase-kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him who... So you're just trying to get out of your responsibility. I bet you don't even care about Taiki. Ugh! How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Ugh! Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. Yes! Stand up for yourself! Ko Kawakami! If you want to go take legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. Yes! I've decided that that's the best apology I can make for Takase-kun. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Yes! Yes! Hmm. Along with Sue, you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secrets. What are you on about? You know about your little What? What? Oh, so I'm right, am I? Oh, hell no! What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head over to the faculty office? Okay, hold me the fuck back! Ha, <laughs> a teacher working in the sex industry. You've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taiki's matter unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up and don't ever call us again about this garbage about stopping the payments. I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. You can't give up! I know! But what am I supposed to do? What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible! When you have Kagato, the final fucking boss, on your side! Kawakami appears to be deeply hurting. Somebody else is gonna be deeply hurting here in a few minutes! I can't do this anymore. What are their names again? Who, the Takasis? The husband is Toshio-san and his wife is Hiromi-san. <laughs> I can never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? This is gonna be our little secret, Kawakami. Please don't. A shooting teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... She... Does she know? I'm sorry. Or maybe she thinks I'm putting the name in for her because of the whole voting thing. No, she could possibly know that we're Phantom Thieves. There's no way. Really? Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you what I decided, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. <laughs> Class is about to start. I, I need to go. <sighs> yeah, we're going to Mementos right now. A teacher made to suffer. Ha! <laughs> Cute pun there.
We, we're going. We are going to Mementos right now. It's time. Oh. Finally. Those shadows must be the guardians of the student named Takase. Those two look pretty sure of themselves. Real smug looking. So they're blackmailing that teacher, Kawakami, by using that incident where their child died? But Miss Kawakami did nothing wrong, right? We have to help her. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. I have never been more ready. Hey! Remember me, assholes! <laughs> money, money, money. Hurry and pay us your money. It's your responsibility. <laughs> Clothes, handbags, makeup. There's too many things that I want. Hmm. You're Kawakami students. Did you come to bring me money? No, we came to give you the biggest fucking ass whooping of your godforsaken life. That incompetent teacher is so worthless. She should be grateful to be a source. Ah! She's not worthless! Sorry. Shut up. Kawakami got in my way. I was gonna use what happened to my son to get back at me. You're gonna do what?! I'm not gonna lose. I won't lose to elitists like you. You were gonna do what?! So, without Kawakami, you were gonna do that anyway?! Okay, alright, 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 calming down. It, even without Kawakami being involved, they were still going to do what they were doing. They were just going to do it to other people. They planned on this from the start. They fucking planned on this from the start. Oh, God, no. Punch her in the goddamn... Oh. She doesn't have a dick, but I don't care. Punch her anyway. All right, so you're going to be the buffer, huh? Let's go. That's fine. I'll cross-slash you now, and they'll just take you up first. What? Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, um, um. Here's attack. One, two. Uh, to Tofu. Uh, maybe we can make the dizzy. Wait a minute. <laughs> I got an idea! I got an idea! <laughs> Let's take you up first! Ah. I got an idea! I got it. Come on, queen. Why? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bad shit! Bad shit happening now! Bad shit happening now! Oh my god! Oh my god! I saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh god! I saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, you. Oh. Rampage! Stop. What? What are you doing? Why can't we hit them? Why can't we hit them? Persona. Oh no! Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Uh, maybe one of them was weak to this. Okay. Well. Uh, well. No, he resists it. Blue C didn't use that. Oh, she didn't use it on on. Oh. 
Futaba, I love you. You gave me the tools necessary that I needed the most. <laughs> Time for you to die now. Crosslash! <laughs> no more of that! No more of that! I've got something special for you. <laughs> This for all the times you stolen money from Kamakami! Forty-eight thousand? Sounds about right. I'm gonna take everything from you. Said for you. Hold on. Game over. You bastards! They took us down. They nearly wiped out my entire team in just a few attacks. That scared the shit out of me. Looking down on me, too. Deep down inside, you're laughing at me, aren't you? Yep, pretty much. We're all laughing at you. Hey, everybody! Let's all laugh at Mr. Takase! <laughs> I wish this would stop. Name brands, aesthetic appointments. Without them, people will laugh. We're all laughing already! Hey, everyone! Let's laugh at this is Takase! <laughs> no one's laughing. What are you talking about? Oh, no, we're all laughing. We're all laughing at them. And a little bit at me for my own stupidity, but still, we're all laughing at them. <laughs> we're terrible human beings. Our son, Taiki, and his real parents were different. His parents were both high-level elites at big-name corporations, always looking at us coldly. That's why I let our son experience what it's like to... What?! The only... What?! The only reason you agreed to take him in after his parents died was to make him feel what it's like to grovel? You adopted the kid just to make his life- You planned on this! You monsters! It felt nice to gradually s felt nice to see him gradually break down from working so much? You are terrible human beings. I guess this is why everyone looked down on us. I'm not sure now if his birth parents really... You weren't sure? You weren't even sure! There is a special place in hell for the both of you. I was so happy as long as I was with to Toshio, but I forgot all about it. I became obsessed with money. Taki really was a good kid. Burn in hell for all the rest of eternity, you pieces of shit. It seems the Takase couple had a change of heart. I should call Kawakami and beat her in my room.
right. Another case solved. What's next? Do we keep exploring? No. We're done. Hey everybody, this is Kagato and I am the final boss. And 10,000 years ago, I used to play this game called Persona 5. Anybody here remember that? Anybody here still sticking around after that? Yeah! I decided that's probably time to start playing that game again! And guess what? Very first thing I'm gonna do after coming back to playing this game that I started 10,000 years ago is make a horrible, horrible decision! It's something I'm not looking forward to! But I gotta do it! I gotta do it! I gotta do it. Sacrifices must be made. Emphasis on the maid. Oh. Are you thinking of calling Kamokami? I'm thinking a lot of things right now. Calling her is one of them. The end result's a whole other thing. Listen. Hey, listen, something unbelievable just happened. Something unbelievable is about to happen. <laughs> I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There's other stuff I want to ask you about, too. You'll request me today, right? <laughs> I really don't want to. Even though I want to, I really don't want to because of the end result. Because I know what's going to happen. I know it. I just know. It's gonna end in a horrible, horrible heartbreak, and I'm gonna be crying for too long. I'll head over there right away, so just wait for me. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Takase-kun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to send any more money, and that they'll return everything that I paid them. Uh, they came today? <laughs> yeah, this really was meant to be, like, right after the fact. I waited months, both in-game and out-of-game. <laughs> oh, man. It's like they're completely different people, like what would happen with Mr. Kamishida. Hey, you wouldn't be, um, no? I don't know what you're thinking about. Anyway, it's such a relief. They apologized about Takase-kun and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I'm a good teacher. You are a good teacher. You're also a really good maid. You're also a really good person. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. I'm making a terrible mistake. And so I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who would cover my shifts. I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well... Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. No kidding, and you're also getting back all the money that you paid the Takases? So you're gonna get a nice big fat check here soon. I can take care of my students and earn their trust. That's the ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. Nonsense, you might- Oh, that's the anti-answer! That's a no far away from that one! No, sir! Yeah, you're right. I'm still within the demographic age range of what's considered young. I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna call it that she's in her late 20s. I always was able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you were such a good listener. Thanks again. Oh crap! Wait, what? Thank you for using our service. <laughs> of course! <laughs> of course! Today marks the day I graduate from being your maid! <laughs> what a bummer! What a total bummer! This is this is the biggest of bummers! Such big bummers! I can always become your personal maid, right? Yes! That'd be nice! <laughs> I know, I can't happen. I feel a deepened connection with Kawakami. <laughs> Rank 9! Alright. So, um... at, at any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Oh, uh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. 
lying face down my pillow, crying myself to sleep over this horrible decision. Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet either. Hey, I'm a high school student. I live off of nothing but Totina's pizza rolls and ramen noodles. Besides, won't you be lonely, huh? Uh, I want to keep seeing you. <laughs> I take it you get lonely easily? But you shouldn't say stuff like that so casually, okay? Some women might understand, misunderstand your intentions. I should choose my words carefully. Giving someone the wrong idea, it's a sinful act, you know? This sucks. This really sucks. But I've been thinking for a while now, and I decided that my very first playthrough of this, I was going to stick to one person. But I had to decide who it was going to be. And after a lot of thinking, I decided that that person should at least be a main member of the party. Kawakami comes very, very, very close, considering all that she does, and how pro, uh, pro, um, what's the word? How active she is. We'll just stick with that. How active she is in this story. Like, it's not just in social links like other social links. She is active in this game, which makes this a very hard choice. She's more than just a social link only person. But, I made my decision. This hurts a lot. <sighs> that was pretty honest of you. I know. I know. You're quite the problem child, but you're still a good person. I'll protect you as your homeroom teacher. Oh. And of course, I'll keep my initial promise too. The one about slacking off in class. See you later. I'll see you at school. <sighs> it had to be done. It had to be done. Sacrifices needed to be made. That is the perfect sound effect of how I'm feeling right now. That's perfect. Ah. <laughs> Do you know the answer? Therefore, in this context, the nuance of the idiom is the complete opposite. I saw a lot of errors on the previous test, so please be more careful in the future. Hey! Excuse me, no sleeping in class! Today's examples will be on your entrance exam, so make sure you know them. What's up with Kawakami? She usually looks so tired. I talked to her this morning about my future, and she was super polite, friendly even. Yeah, I know what you mean. She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Now that she's back on her feet, Kawakami seems to be working hard as a teacher. Oh, she's so great. She's so great. All right. I'm officially declaring it now. The festival seems to be a success. When it's not part of the main cast, Kawakami is best girl. Period. End of story. I'm making that claim now. Legs for Days is awesome. Jahai is awesome. They're all awesome. Kamikami though, best girl, period. When you're outside the main cast. Might even argue that best girl, period, period. Ah, I think I made a terrible mistake, but I gotta keep going. I gotta commit. I gotta commit. This is the place. You're already reminding me about the mage! <laughs> Kawakami, no! Me takoyaki? <laughs> Hello, well, I can't spend time with you tonight, but I can spend time with somebody else. <gasps> Kawakami! Oh, man, I, you're speaking of sacrifices! Uh, I guess I should finish up with Kawakami, too. Well, I didn't finish up with Takami, but yeah. I'm contacting you not as Becky, but as your teacher today. There's something I want to talk to you about. Are you free? <sighs> Here we go, everyone. We're going to finish up Kawakami Social Link. Ah! <laughs> 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 
All right, Kawakami, let's finish up with you. Oh, man! Sorry I'm late. A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. Speak to hell things that hurt! Oh, Kawakami. Oh, man. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. I'm glad to hear that. Apparently, they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid-back personality is coming in useful. That's one of the things I liked best about you. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. Yeah? And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. Yeah. You are way too lax when it comes <laughs> to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. Oh, jeez! You make me have a fucking heart attack! And the state of your room. You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I'm... Uh... I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. I tried my best! I mean, at the very beginning, a year ago, I did a little dusting there, a little spit shine there, and it was perfect! Remember? <laughs> You're not my mom! <laughs> Same goes for you? What's that supposed to mean? Let's go for it. I'm currently in the process of eating better myself. I only have cup noodles every other day now. Oh, well, hey, that's good. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh, yeah, there's one more thing. Yeah? You're a member of the Phantom <laughs> Thieves, right? Oh, okay, just... <laughs> like, so worried about my diet and then just nonchalantly... Phantom Thief. <laughs> okay! Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Why do you think I'm just... I'm just... Uh, what are you talking about? That whole thing with Takase-kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. Yeah, let's just say that was good luck. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. Oh, God. She's right. Uh... You have no proof! <laughs> um, so what if I am? Uh, does that make me more attractive to you? Hmm, well... <laughs> he even has that sassy crossed arm like, Yeah, so what if I am? <laughs> Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. Yay! There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? Kawakami, one of the greatest pleasures I had in this entire journey was kicking the absolute shit out of the Takaseis and draining them of every scent that they had. That's so you. I know it is! Aren't I friggin' adorable?! I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. Yay! You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. I'll make sure of it. Right? For my students, and for you. I feel a strong bond with Kawakami. Oh, I man. Thou. thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. Infinite power, you say? Boy, oh boy, I wish that were true. Special massage? Request a massage? 
after going into the metaverse, letting you go out at night! I could have used that a long time ago! I shouldn't have waited this long to max out Kawakami, but I had no idea what I was going to do with her! I mean... I had... Ah! <laughs> Wait. Special massage, but I'm not dating her. I wonder if it's any different if I was dating her. Oh my. If I was dating her, would that special massage be something else? Oh yeah! Next game! The Royal's coming soon! Alright. Oh man. Yep. Uh, Kawakami, best, best waifu out of all the girls not in the main party, for certain. Woo! All right. You can now fuse Ardha. Kawakami's special massage is going to make me Ardha. The most powerful persona of the Temperance Arcana. You can now use the phone at LeBlanc at night to ask Kawakami to come and give you a special massage. So, I can now go to the metaverse as much as I want and just have her come over, rub me down, and I can still do a social link? <laughs> Kawakami's special massage or remove exhaustion and allow you to go out at night even after venturing into a palace or mementos. Kawakami is the anti-Morgana! The special the special massage is nothing but, but Kawakami coming in, grab Morgana, throwing him out the window! That's better than a massage for me! Uh, but I'll still take the massage though. Please. Please! into it 50 terms go what i don't want you to flunk your exams okay i'm going to go the distance with you i'll go the distance with you but not the next game maybe <laughs> I, re I received a special lesson from kawakami <sighs> <sighs> ah! i grew tired all of a sudden SACRIFICES MUST BE MADE! <laughs> Damn it! Ugh. Had to take a drink on that one. I'm tired. I- that- that whole thing, I- There's- there's only one cure for this. Getting a massage from our teacher. Hey! If you're feeling really tired, why don't you request a massage from Kawakami? Yes! I want a massage! What? Oh, you're seriously requesting a massage? Fine. I'll have you know I trained while working in Victoria. My skills are amazing. Okay, I'll head over right now, so just wait for me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. She's even wearing the maid outfit still. <laughs> this is... <laughs> How is this woman so strong? It feels like my body is being kneaded with iron rods. Master. <laughs> So, what do you think about the amount of force I'm using, Master? This perfect take it down a notch. I don't feel anything. Harder. Oh, really? Okay. I'll just go on ahead and use more force then. Jeez. <laughs> huh? Oh, your body is pretty fit. What the heck did you do? This is leading into something! This already leading into something that we probably be shouldn't be showing on this show. This, this, that, that's the start. Well, that, that's the start of something that needs to be. Ah. So, do you feel a bit lighter now? 
My body really does feel lighter. Any fatigue I felt earlier is all gone. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like that was pretty effective. Oh, since you're refreshed now, you could probably do something else before the night ends. As much as I prefer that you didn't. But I suppose that you didn't get something from Kylo Kami. The anti-Morgana. <laughs> All right, I'm heading home. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Oh, are you sure you can't stay? I, I, I think I need a massage somewhere around my legs, too. Oh, bye, Kawakami.